Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasion series of YouTube tutorials featuring MATLAB. Today we're looking at this file from the MATLAB Central Down Exchange, the Visibility Predictor. So Eric Ogiger wrote this uh, piece of code to predict and visualize the GPS satellites above your head. So it's a real-time simulator for visibility prediction of GPS satellites. So you can download the code, install it, I'm not going to bother with that. And when you download the code, you'll also get this PowerPoint slide, which is the manual for it. Sorry about that. So I'm not going to go through this line by line, just to give you an idea. We have the code here. Let's uh, run it. Now it fires up at a default location, which is there. Looks like Eric was, was based in the south of France, somewhere like Montpellier or somewhere like that, or Marseille. So. I'm going to run through some of this over here, not every single option, but just to give you some idea of what's going on. So I'm just going to set my position here. And I'm in Dublin at the moment, so 53, and I'm about four degrees west. And I'm going to use real time, so I'm going to get the Position of the satellites above my head at 12.23 on the 29th of uh, May 2019. And you can see the mouse is there. So I'm somewhere in the greater Dublin region. I've done the settings. I can download the Alma Mac if I want. I'm not going to bother here, but I can download that file. And then I'm going to get the sky above my head, really, we're there. And there's the PRN of the satellites above my head. And there's the position which I've specified that I'm there. You can select individual satellites and it'll give you the flight path. etc if you want just go back here there's the user manual run slowly there's the abbreviations there's the almanac format which I sort of skipped over Yuma and Sam so there's the file format for Yuma and there's it is for Sam get the map files there's a description of the files you download there's the architecture slash interface and might slow down here a little bit so we were there there's the buttons, commands and settings on the right hand side and the track selectors are down here as well. Uh, when we're here in the world map uh, we're in the world map here, excuse me uh, we can see here we can get the H stop, the horizontal del dilution of position the vertical dilution of position and your 3D, your positional dilution of position there. So that'll tell you there. And so they give you the H dot, P dot and V dot. I have a tab up here. There's the wiki page for that dilution of position. So if you're new to it, you can read that. And you see it gives the dot values here. Okay, and just to remind myself what are my dot values. Yeah, they're one, or there's the big, or 1.34, and you can see 
one is ideal and 1.34 is excellent so that's grand so i might shut that tab down okay there's the visibility if i were to look up straight overhead i would see prn2 prn12 14 so those little arrows tell me they're visible at the moment 23 is visible 25 26 29 31 and 32 are all visible and 32 is just beginning to slide out okay so just go back to my powerpoint slide which is there uh, <coughs> so the light gray is visible and the sorry the dark blue is unhealthy so i said the wrong thing there the light gray is healthy and the dark blue is unhealthy there's the visualizations we've had a little look at that okay so that's where we are now that's your man's powerpoint slide okay you can see those little prefixes or fleshes or arrows okay and you can see there what they're unhealthy there and these dark blue lads are healthy now it looks there it's a bit hard to see on my screen but i think they're all healthy at the moment uh, next thing is the orbital plane these are all 60 degrees apart one two three four five six so six sixties is three sixty so they all go around in six different orbital planes and you can see what satellites are visible in the orbital plane there sorry for flicking and uh, there is quite a decent explanation of the orbital planes your survival guy uh, slightly more advanced with the right ascension of ascending node and the orbital inclination that's a fairly decent video as well and uh, this is another one about orbital planes as well by mike grundman so there if you're just new to it you see what's going on uh, if you're really new to azimuth and zenith etc you could read that and that's just a general introduction for sound tracks sorry satellite ground tracks apologies about that and there's, I think, I don't know if I showed you this, that's for the Almanac, if you download it in the Yuma file format, and that's just the definition there. Um, that's it. And then the colour, that's just how to set the foreground, background colour, and the INI file and the help. So, yeah, that's that doesn't really matter. Just That is just making the thing look nicer. Okay, I hope that helps a listen and thanks very much for listening.